Are you one of those? Are you one of those people who only celebrates when you hit a big goal? Could this be slowing you down? Could this be detrimental to your success? Or is it no big deal? My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. In today's video is do you celebrate when you hit your goals or does this slow your success down? So with that being said, let's jump in. But before we do, I want to give a big shout out to our, all of our new subscribers. Also, you know, from time to time, I like to talk financials because if you're going to succeed in life and business, we live in an economic you know, society where you got to make money. And right now I like talking about crypto because one, I'm heavily involved in crypto. And we just had the other day a massive dip and things are toggling and we don't know where you are, whether it's accumulating to go shoot back up, Bitcoin goes past that 40,000 resistance, or if we're gonna have another leg down where we could see it at $24,000 a coin potentially, or at least down to 30, maybe even below. If it hits below 30 and closes, we could see a uh, spike down even more. So <clears throat> if you guys are interested, like did I miss the crypto wave? No, you didn't. And if there is another leg down, you better be ready to buy and buy in at your risk tolerance. I am no financial advisor. I just wanna let you guys know. So with that being said, let's jump in. That We'll talk about that in another video. <clears throat> so I got some bullet points here. But look, here's the deal. After coaching thousands of people and doing well over 17,000 coaching calls, you start to notice when like high performing entrepreneurs, like why are they succeeding? Why are others not? And you might be one of those entrepreneurs or one of those people, you don't even have to be an entrepreneur, but you're one of those people you're like, hey, when I hit X, then I'm gonna celebrate. I'm, <clears throat> and what does celebrating mean? It means honoring where you are. It means giving yourself acknowledgement, a pat on the back, uh, a victory for your achievement. And most people, they say, hey, I'm gonna set this goal when I'm 200 pounds and I wanna get down to 170 pounds. When I get there, I'm buying myself a new car. And it's like, okay, cool. <clears throat> but what happens is, what I've found is what makes the difference between someone successful and someone not, a successful high-performing entrepreneur and one that's just getting okay results, if any at all, is that the successful individual they actually celebrate along the path and not just the victory. So I used to be one of these guys where <clears throat> I would just say, okay, I'm gonna hit this goal. And when I get there, I'm gonna do something, right? Like if I make a certain amount of money, I'm going to go to on this trip, right? And it just seemed like it took so long and it's like I, I lost interest or I doubted myself and it was like, oh, why? And I find myself frustrated watching other people, you know, it's like they always seem to succeed. Do you know anyone like that where it's like no matter what they do, they're always succeeding? It got so frustrating. <clears throat> but after being a coach and a professional coach, it's seeing behind the picture and really understanding why we want to celebrate our wins along the journey. Like we want to celebrate along the journey, not just the end destination. I started making that move. Because I was just on a call with a client today. I say, you don't celebrate the result. What you celebrate is the effort on that journey to the result. And why? Why do we do that? I like to think of basketball, right? Right now, it's the NBA playoffs, and I'm watching my Sixers win. And, you know, <clears throat> last night I was watching, and this one guy, Tobias Harris, he was just, he was, and Ben Simmons, they were just on, on fire. And I started thinking like, why? It's like when they hit a basket, they feel so good. And so therefore it makes them want to score even more and, and, and perform at a higher level. And so they do it again and again and again, and it builds this momentum and ultimately gets them to the result of winning the game. But then I started thinking, okay, well the other path is they, they hit a shot and they're just like, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a shot. There's, you know, four quarters. And so then they're just like, eh. And they go to take the next shot and they miss. And they're like, oh, it was just a miss, right? <clears throat> and then maybe make one. And eh, it's just a make. And they are never consistent. There's never that momentum, right? There's never that confidence being built. See, when you celebrate wins along the way, it's like making a shot, right? In basketball, it's like you keep making them and making them. Your confidence gets even bigger. It's like the hoop becomes bigger, right? 
And so I see entrepreneurs, they get slowed down in business and in life because they don't celebrate along the journey. See, I never start a coaching call off without asking my clients, what do we have to celebrate? I'm trying to wire them every call to look for what to celebrate. It's what makes life rich. It's what makes life exciting and, and, and just I don't know what the word is. It just makes life and your ability to perform even more confident, right? And why is that? It's like every time we celebrate a win on an effort, right? Like you were gonna make a sales call and you, you know, you, you're, the fear kicked in, but you did it anyway. Let's celebrate that, right? Because what that's doing, it's like a, it's like a dopamine hit, right? Just like in basketball, you make a shot, it's like a instant dopamine hit. And the more dopamine hits we have, the better. But it's not like when you're scrolling through the phone on Facebook or playing a game on your phone, <clears throat> you know, Candy Crush or whatever game there is like that, right? Like where it's the dopamine that's really, you know, it's quick, it's instant all the time. But we want to do that a healthy progression throughout our journey towards our result. If you don't, then you're just going to be like, man, eh, along the way. And it's like, that's why you're not succeeding. And then when you do succeed, most entrepreneurs, what they do or even just people in general, what they do is they just sit back and they're just like, all right, cool, finally hit that goal. All right, what's next? And they go on to the next one and they don't even take time to honor themselves. It's the people who honor their journey, the people who honored even the end result and on top of it that makes them even more successful. You know, I sit back at the end of my day and I look and I'm like, man, I could celebrate this breakthrough with this client, this breakthrough with this client, you know, this this breakthrough on their, on their mindset. Like I just... I celebrate those wins. And then, you know, if a big achievement happens, right? Like, <clears throat> for example, all through my coaching career, I would honor myself and my progress in coaching through breakthroughs. I would do that by buying another, you know, an audio book or going to an event. But I used to be a Tony Robbins coach for almost eight years. And so it was an unbelievable experience, incredible training, people, mentorship, you know, and as a Tony Robbins coach, right, a master platinum coach, you you learn that how important it is to celebrate along the journey. But when I left the company, I started, I had to ask myself, like, this is a new chapter. Why well, I'm going to miss all my colleagues and the, the training and the community, right? Like, I had to ask myself, how am I celebrating going on to the next chapter of my life? And so I went and bought a mountain bike. <laughs> so you might say, Joe, well, how do I celebrate? Like, we all know there's those big things. You can buy a car, you can go on a trip, you can, you know, buy yourself a $2,000 mountain bike. You could go do whatever you want, like on a bigger scale. But how do you celebrate on the smaller ends? Like, it could just be as acknowledging yourself and like, yeah, I'm a badass, right? Or like, hey, great job, Joe. Great job, Stephanie. Great job, John, right? Like, are you praising yourself? right? Just even self-talk along the way. You could celebrate by going out to eat, right? Or going and get in a green juice because that's a way to honor your body, but celebrate along the way. Reading a book, shutting your phone off, going outside in the nature, watching the sunset, watching the sunrise. Though taking moments for you, you know, plugging into God's word, like that, that's, those are small celebrations you can do on a daily basis. Take a bubble bath, right? Stay in the shower an extra five minutes. Sleep in an extra 15 minutes. Or even get up 15 minutes early. <clears throat> we want to be able to do that, uh, those small celebrations, because it's about rewarding yourself along the journey and the effort that you put in, not just the end destination and the result. What I've found over the years is the ones that celebrate along the journey have more success than those that don't. And I'm telling you, if you watch yourself, if you haven't been one to celebrate, ask yourselves, how have you been doing with hitting your goals? And then when you do hit your goals, is it like this big, huge party? Or are you just like, meh, let's go on. We never slow down enough to honor ourselves, let alone honor other people, right? So we got to honor ourselves on a journey. I'm telling you, when you do, it's like, it's like you get this power boost a lot each and every day. It's like, you know, if every if you were only told that you were good looking or you were an incredible person once a year versus once a day, how would you show up to the world? You would show up defeated. You would show up lack of confidence or certainty, right? Versus if you, every day you were told, "Gosh, you're gorgeous. You're you're amazing. You're ripped. You're sexy. You're fine. You're hot." Like, 
every day if you heard that, you, you'd start to believe it, even if you weren't, right? Or even if you didn't believe it, you might start to believe it, right? And so you want to make sure that you're celebrating along the way. That's what catapults your success. Look, this isn't something groundbreaking. It's been around forever, but sometimes it's not taught. And it's these two little meter shifts that we're delivering here every week when we're doing three videos for you that you just add these into your life and take those two millimeter steps. And all of a sudden over time, it stacks up and you wonder, how did my business go from, you know, six figures to seven or seven to eight, eight to nine? How did my body go from, you know, overweight to ripped? How did my relationship go to blah to freaking passionate love? It's these two millimeter shifts over time. That's why we do these videos. So if you if you actually really believe in celebrations, you think that it's a great idea to celebrate on the journey, not just the end result that could be months or years down the line, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. But most importantly, celebrate this video by subscribing to this channel. Make sure you hit that notification on the right hand side so that you can get notified when these three videos are coming out. And if you're like, Joe, I just don't know why I can't celebrate or I choose not to, maybe I just need a breakthrough, go in the description in the one-on-one -on -one coaching application, fill that out and allow one of our high performing coaches to work with you and to help you break through. You invest in you because I'm telling you, the result is a lot better than delaying your success. So with that, make sure you go out. My challenge to you is go out, celebrate something along your journey, whether it's in your fitness, your relationship, your career, find a way to celebrate and honor yourself along the journey and just the effort that you put in. I honor my son when he shoots his little basketball, when he shoots it from a distance, I say great effort, instead of when he does make it saying great shot, I say great effort. What do you need to be praised on? Figure that out, honor yourself, and I'll see you in the next video. Comment below. My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.